Hey y'all. Um, all right, y'all may notice the background's changed again. Uh, I came back to high school. Um, I decided to quit housekeeping because there's only so much bashing a person can take before they like, I don't need this. And y'all know my history that I I come from where stuff bothers me a little bit because of what I've been through. And I decided that's not healthy for me, and I don't need to do this. So, with that happening, um, I was no longer to pay my share of the rent, so I had to leave. Because um, Sweet Meat could not afford the rent by himself. So, uh, I'm back here in Haskell, uh, living with Big Daddy. And so, we'll see how well this goes. Uh, like I said, I got approved for public housing, or low income housing. But the rent here in Texas is $136. I don't get that much to begin with. So by the time I paid rent and everything else I needed, I didn't have enough money for everything that I needed to pay. Uh, electric and gas and stuff. So I'm here. Uh, and Oklahoma is only $50. So, and I know it's two different states. And I love Texas. Born and raised here. But let me tell you, living here is extremely hard. Oklahoma, those people, it was awesome people is so you get a lot more help in Oklahoma and I don't know why that is uh, but I, I wish I wish that it was like that here I'm not trying to bash Texas but it is hard they make it very difficult for us to make it you practically have to live with somebody to make it and so that's what I'm doing um, so I'm trying to get everything organized, get my space back, get it dealt with. I'm just, ugh, just so much stuff to do. So, anyway, y'all, um, I just want to give you a quick update what's going on and everything. Uh, last night, I went to Aveline Speedway and watched dirt track racing. Oh, my gosh, how much fun was that? Uh, I love being and going out on dirt track. I love dirt track. Uh, back in Wichita Falls, I was there every weekend, and um, because Abilene's so far away, it's hard to go, but just because the gas is ridiculous, and, uh, but I loved it, I enjoyed it so much last night, and uh, I wish I could drive a car, I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I would love to drive a race car, you know, and uh, so, and I went to the mall, I don't get why y'all go to the mall every all the time. That's just plum craziness. Now I did. I don't ever buy stuff for me, but I went to Bath and Body Works. They had a seventy-five percent off sale. I think that I say thirty-one dollars on three items. I got three items for thirteen dollars, and one of those items was twenty dollars. I got it for five. It was amazing, and I was able to have somebody fix my um, medical ID bracelet because the class was having issues so I just told them to put a ring in there so it, I don't, can't get it off at all it doesn't need to come off so I'll go ahead and put it on there but I got I walked around with the mall for a little while with sweet meat and um, yeah that was kind of entertaining why not okay let me talk to the parents out there first of all why in the hell do you let your daughters go out there looking like uh, some of the girls I saw? Booty shorts, tummies hanging out, butts hanging out, looking all skanky. Who the hell lets their kids out like that? If you do, well, bless your heart. If you're from Texas, you know what I just told you. Um, no, if my daughter walked out like that, I'd be like, hey, where the hell do you think you're going looking like that? Thankfully, my daughter thinks that looking hoochie is nasty. Love my baby girl. Because um, looking hoochie is not pleasant. And these 13 year olds, well not even 13, they're like 9 and 10 year olds that are looking like they're grown. Because everything's hanging out and they're, you know. Uh, moms, come on. All that's going to lead to is, is wondering why your baby got pregnant at 16. I'm not going to say that's the case with everything, and I know I'm going to get hate mail for this. But I, you know me, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I'm a very honest person. You should know this by now. 
But, you know, if you let your daughter go out looking hoochie, she's going to come back and make you a grandma before it's time. So, you know, and I know there's not all girls are going to go out there and be, you know, there's some really good ones that make the wrong word, 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 word change. Anyways, please, moms, can we, can we rein that in a little better, you know? I know some of y'all have got the beautiful as daughters, but please show them how to respect themselves. You know, that's something that needs to be dealt with. Um, I think it, it starts at home. And, you know, starts with moms having respect for themselves and then having respect for their daughters. And that includes not putting up with a lot of the crap that men dish out for you. You know, because if your daughters see that, they're going to grow up thinking, oh, it's okay to be hit on. It's okay to have to wait on this man hand and foot. No, it's not. So, anyway, um, that's about it, guys. And I will hopefully have creations pretty soon. So, um, and quilting again. I am trying, I found, I went to Best Buy and researched um, cameras, uh, video cameras, because this webcam stuff's not working out. And it's, they're $229. For the one that I, I I would need, just a basic Sony. The man recommended Sony. He said just a basic Sony would be the best thing for me. So it's gonna take a couple of months. It's gonna take a while, but I'll eventually get it. But y'all take care, and uh, we'll holler at you later. Oh wait, wait. Mm.